Hello my friends, my name is Forge and welcome back to our brand new video. So today it's going to be a very exciting day for me because over the past month I've been working very hard on a brand new update for the Desert Plus add-on which aims to change the desert forever. Now if you want to see my original showcase of the add-on there will be a link down below in the description and I highly recommend taking a look at that because that is when I take a look at all the different structures and even the new mobs. But without any further ado, let's go and see the brand new updates that I have done. Which beginning with the first update is that you can now find every single item and block inside the creative inventory. So if you look inside here, you can find the brand new armor types, the brand new weapons, you can find the brand new foods, and all the other blocks. But try to keep in mind that these are not the actual blocks. These are just items. But you can use these items to place down the blocks. And that's how all of that works. So you can find yourself all the scale blocks, you can find all the hieroglyphics, and all that really cool stuff. But let's go ahead and move on to the next feature, which is that the game no longer crashes when you're loading into the world. Now keep in mind that the game only crashed if you had some custom structures that had a mob inside of there. And that was a big problem inside the original release. And a lot of people were saying that the game is crashing. I mean, the add-on worked fine when it first got released. But after all the updates, it started just to break. And it was just a very, very annoying process. But now they finally fixed that in the newest betas. Which, thank goodness that they have done that. Thank you, Mojang, for making the add-on actually work now. But along with that, there's also going to be some brand new structures that I've added into the update, including the geodes. So you can find red geodes and yellow geodes. And these are going to be using three brand new blocks. We have the yellow and red phosphate blocks. We have the polished variant. There's also going to be the cracked variant as well. Now, to get the polished variant, you're going to be using four of the yellow phosphates, or you can use a stone cutter in order to get one at a time. You can find yourself the yellow versions way down inside the ground inside the desert. And then if you go to the Mesa Bomb, you can find yourself these red variants. If you get yourself a pickaxe. So if I come over to one of these and I interact with this, we can make the phosphate crack. And then you can use that to grow these brand new crystals. Which if you go and harvest these crystals, you can go ahead and use them to make a brand new weapon. Which is called the spears. There's also a brand new stone type which is called the Fiolite Slabs. And then there's Polished Fiolite Slabs. There's going to be Regular Fiolite and Polished Fiolite. Let's go ahead and move on to the next feature, which is going to be the update to Palm Wood. Now, in the previous version of the add-on, I did have Palm Wood, but I only add the logs. But I've introduced the Trip Variants, finally. I've added in some brand new doors and trap doors. There's even some brand new slabs. But you can also find yourself the new trap doors. But try to keep in mind that when placing down the regular Palm Doors, uh, you have to go ahead and aim for the bomb to go ahead and open it and close it. Now I do want to thank the Crossolator for letting me use its camouflage doors add-on as a little template for my doors. Because without its help, I wouldn't have been able to introduce my own type of doors. Now for the wood, this works exactly like regular wood inside the game. You can rotate it, go ahead and strip it, and all that really good stuff. Now keep in mind that the coconut, this is in early stages. So you're not going to be able to find this on any of the palm trees. But for this particular block, you can place it on the ceiling. And you can place it on the ground. When placing it, it can be very annoying because watch this. As you can see, if I'm further back, right about here, about two blocks away, you can place it down just like fine. But if I'm like right here and one block away, then you actually cannot place it properly. It's a very annoying thing, and I really ate that quite a bit. But I also made it to where you can use a wooden axe to go ahead and get coconut milk. So if I grab all this axe and I look down here, I'm gonna go and place down a coconut. I interact with this, watch this. You see, we uh, went ahead and cut it open, and now we have coconut milk. I can go ahead and use this about three times, and you get saturation whenever you drink it. But there's also going to be the coconut shell, which you can go ahead and grab, and you can place this wherever you want as well, which is really good. But with all that, let's go ahead and talk about silver. Now for silver, you can find this pretty much like you can iron, but there's also going to be the new block, the silver block, which you get by combining nine ingots together. There's also going to be the brand new armor, and the brand new tools. Now they are going to be a little bit weaker than iron. Let's go and look at the other items. You can find yourself the shard spears which come in yellow and red. Now for these brand new weapons they can do five attack damage each. And for the recipe this is going to be using one shard of your choice and then a string in the middle and one stick on the bottom. Now these rocks they can be placed in groups of three. So if I place down one rock we have one. We have two and we have three. Here's our ingots and here's our nugget for the silver. This could be some brand new foods. 
So you can get yourself scarab meat cooked in raw. There's also going to be cobra skin. There is raw cobra and there's cooked cobra. Now for the raw scarabs, they give you 0.5 hunger back plus nausea. And in the cooked variant, will be 1.5 hunger bars. The cobra skin is 0.5 hunger bars. The raw cobra is 1 hunger bar. And the cooked cobra is 2 hunger bars. But it's also going to be the Feral's Art. There is the Desert Furrow. And then here is our crystals as well. You can find yourself all the different skill blocks. And you can find yourself the different scales as well. By finding the appropriate colored scarab. And next up there's also going to be the hieroglyphics. Which are crafted by using smooth sandstone. Inside of a stone cutter. So if I put that inside of there. There is 15 different variants. That you can find of hieroglyphics. And I think that these look really really good. And inside the original version of the add-on. I did have to get permission from the original creator of the hieroglyphics add-on, Gillum MC. He that gave me permission to use his hieroglyphics for the add-on. So I do want to thank him again for very much for that. And then of course Daycon, he let me use the Sandstorm add-on as well. Let's go ahead and move on to the Desert Furrow. If you decide that you want to make yourself the Desert Furrow, this is going to be the recipe right here. And if you go ahead and get yourself another star, you can interact with this and it becomes a mob right there. I will go ahead and fix it to where it does not drop that. And to deactivate it, just use an empty end. And one cool thing about this is that if you get yourself different items, such as the blaze powder, or the gas tear, golden pickaxe, or the feather, you get different effects. The blaze powder gives you fire resistance, a gas tear gives regeneration, a golden pickaxe gives haste, and a feather gives speed. And then we have also a burning sap thing, which is the palm sap thing, which can be grown by using bone meal. But the moment you do that, all the logs are going to be rotated towards you. I have no idea why it does this, but it's a very annoying thing. I did try to fix that, but I couldn't really get that to work properly. And let's go ahead and look at some of the other structures that I've added into the add-on. And this is going to be what the new structures look like. So to begin with, let's go ahead and look at the new house dungeon. So if I come over this way and I go and open this up, this is going to be what the inside looks like. So you get yourself a bed, you get yourself a furnace, a crafting bench, and even some bookshelves. There's also going to be some custom loot. And then there's also the other structure which is going to be the new pillager outpost. Now one thing I have done for the pillager in the previous version of the add-on. And you go ahead and find them inside the desert. They will become a desert pillager. But for the structure itself, you can find yourself pillager spawners. There's also going to be custom loot they can find inside of here as well. So if I continue going up here, we have stage 1, then we have stage 2, then we have stage 3. Now in order for this add-on to work, you need both of these experimental gameplay options turned on. You need all of the creator features and creation of custom biomes. And then you're all good to go and look at, then you're able to look at everything inside the add-on. But anyway, we're going to go and end off the video by taking a look at the entire desert. And this is now what the desert looks like. So you can find palm trees all over the place. You can find the dungeons. You can find the different ruined houses. I mean, there is a lot of things I put together for this add-on. And I think you'll like it quite a bit. And also, um, I'm not entirely too sure why that tree broke right there. The tree is like broken out. Okay, so there's going to be a few glitches. I do want to hear your thoughts down below in the comments about what you think of this update. If you do want to take a look at it, there will be a link down below in the description. And if you enjoyed today's video, then also let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe. So you never miss an upload for now. I hope you have a logical day. And I will catch you next time. Bye.